Hello and welcome to the Tofit Alliance Church Weekly Update. This wave of COVID has been rough. I'm thankful that we're starting to see some of the numbers come down. I continue to pray that this pandemic would be brought under control. I pray for those on the front line who are caring for the sick. I also pray for those who have been affected most deeply through by, uh, by COVID, through illness, through bereavement, and all who have been affected by this the disruption of these times. In John 17, Jesus prayed for those who would believe in him, saying, I pray that all of them may be one, Father, just as you are in me and I am in you. May they also be in us so that the world may believe that you have sent me. As the pandemic continues, it's easy to focus on differences. Instead of letting differences separate us, remember the factors that unite us and pray for one another. After all, we're all going through some very similar experiences. We've all had to deal with change. Change in how we greet one another, how we shop, how we work, how we go to school, how we go to church, how we gather as family and friends. We've all experienced loss in some way or another. Loss in routine and structure, loss in employment and income, loss through illness and bereavement, loss of opportunity to visit with loved ones. We've all felt the stress of uncertainty. We've had to come to grips with our own vulnerability and our frailty. All of us live at risk. and No one can accurately map the way forward. And we all have relationships that have been affected. Gatherings of friends and family have been curtailed by restrictions and tensions have arisen between friends and family due to differing opinions. So pray for one another, asking Jesus for the encouragement of the Holy Spirit for the ability to persevere through unwelcome circumstances. We all desire health and safety and relief from the stress and uncertainty of these times. While there's no vaccine against uncertainty, there is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. As we pray for one another, we experience the presence of Jesus, burdens become lighter, and we live with hope. Thank you for joining us each weekend either in person or via live stream Sundays at 10 a.m. And you can find that live stream or recording through our website or directly through our YouTube channel. I want to talk about a Strength to Strength seminar that continues this Sunday afternoon, October 17th. You can attend whether you've attended earlier sessions or not, and you do not have to register. The seminar talks about how do we thrive in our second half and third third of life. We look at scripture. And this Sunday afternoon, we're talking about the whole dynamic of intellectual strength. I do give a, want to mention a couple of the special giving areas we've been giving focus to the past few weeks. I do want to thank you for your gifts that support what happens at our local church, your gifts to the Global Advance Fund, to our partnership with the Ulrichsons who are in Mexico City, and these two special areas this fall. The Jaffrey Project helps bring the gospel to the least reached people, and this year the funds are being directed to training leaders for church planting in Southeast Asia. Give to this project by putting Jaffrey on your offering envelope or in the special line of the offering envelope or putting a note in your online giving. As well, we want to talk about some relief funds for Haiti. It can be made through our Global Emergency Response Fund of our national office, GERF, and you can put that or Haiti on your offering envelope or your online giving and we'll direct those to our national office and they in turn will partner with people who are on the ground in Haiti and give those funds to those organizations. Living Our Belief is a series that we're in, a series in 1 Corinthians. And over the next three weeks, we're going to be tackling some tricky passages that address issues that aren't really that easy to discuss. The church in Corinth was wrestling with issues of sexual sin, lawsuits, confusion about how our faith relates to marriage and divorce and slavery, and Paul addresses all of those topics in 1 Corinthians chapters 5 through 7. We're going to be exploring the biblical principles that help us live our belief. The section applies to us, as in many ways, attitudes today mirror perspectives held by people in the Corinthian church. We live in a permissive society, and Christians are often viewed as being narrow or judgmental. Teaching this, this material is complicated since our services include people of all ages, and our services are online and they can be accessed by people who may not be sympathetic with biblical teaching. My desire is to teach the truth of this section with gentleness and respect, recognizing the entire audience. 
I ask you to do some reading at home so that you'll be familiar with the content. I encourage you to read the section in multiple translations, especially translations that use newer vocabulary in terms of phrase. Two good ones are the message and the voice. If you don't have a copy of those, go to BibleGateway.com and you can find them there and read them right on your tablet or your computer or your phone or whatever. And uh, there's a link to Bible Gateway um, on the email version of this update, and so you can access it there if you want to look, check out those translations. But read it in a couple translations. This week we're exploring 1 Corinthians 5, 1 to 13, and 1 Corinthians 6, 1 through 11. And in these sections, Paul instructs the church about two serious problems it faced. Think about similar issues the church may be facing today, and think about the unifying principles in Paul's approach to different problems. 1 Corinthians 6, 11 gives insight into both these issues. Following a list of behaviors that exclude people from the kingdom of God, Paul writes, some of you used to live in those ways, but you're different now. You've been washed clean, set apart, restored, and set on the right path in the name of the Lord Jesus, the anointed, by the Spirit of our living God. That's 1 Corinthians 6, 11, the voice translation. Thank you so much for being part of our church, for taking the time to check out this update, and thanks for joining in person or joining online. You can find the live stream for those and recording through our website or through our YouTube channel. Take care. God bless.